I answer at the MCG and getting ready. Everett's all especially ready for the first Saturday rub of the year ahead of Melbourne and Port Adelaide. Very big hour and a half coming your way. Tom Hawkins, our special guest shortly. Ollie Wine, Stephen May in the box together, which is very interesting. We're also going to bring a couple of new segments, a new flavour into uh, the Saturday Rub. Purple's got uh, a content look about himself. I think there's been some work during the week, so we're looking forward to that. Mm -hmm. Also, we're going to uh, bring uh, Bristles doing it today. An untold story of the AFL, VFL, the lesser-known players who had a big impact for weird reasons. I think that's the right way to say it. But welcome for the first time in 2019 to you, Brian. Nice yes, to have you, Brian. Be. Good to be here. Uh, of course it or is. is it? Yes, it is. Uh, Domo, <laughs> nice to see you. Great to be back, Jim. And uh, Duck, of course, uh, this is your time of year, Duck. you got the shorts on, the white T-shirt. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Tightish. <laughs> white T-shirt. Out his, bursting small out of every oh, piece of fabric on How good has the start of the AFL season been? Great game. Carlton Ford back. They're in the game at three-quarter time. Close game last night. Can't wait for this one, BT. And I hope there's no bullying this year. Mm. I just, I really hope there's Even no bullying. Even his white socks around his calves are bursting. <laughs> I'll tell you what happened to me. I'm going to get to Bill in a sec, but I'm driving up uh, St Kilda I, Road I, oh. uh, yesterday, Bristol. I'm flowing and I'm, tr- I'm the trying road. to get myself to the MCG for last night, and I, I just drifted past this white Mercedes <laughs> wagon, Ooh. like an SUV. Yeah. Nice, very nice looking truck. And out, because I couldn't see, I was a bit far away to see who it was, but out of the truck came a man with real presence. <laughs> and, and he knew he had pressed. <laughs> Stop the traffic. Stop the traffic and just made his way out of this chariot. And I said, if I, if I can't be sure, I'd imagine that could well be the uh, <laughs> And I got closer and I realised it was. And I thought, nothing's changed since September, which is perfect. Hello to you, Fat. Hey, good day, Jim. Lovely to be with you. We don't need high scoring to have a very, very good close game, do we? Yeah, it'll open up, though, Bill. Oh, Bill. I'm uh, loving the 666. Let, uh, let's, let's be honest. Uh, that game was not a great game. No, Last for three, night, for three and a half, skill wise, it yeah. wasn't. There's a lot of mistakes, but yeah. I tell you what, Brian, Carol, if you were out game, there in the heat, heat of the moment, there was a lot going on. It was a right. tough game if of you, footy. If you ask Brian about uh, whether the, they were slippery mm. conditions, mm. Brian said they weren't. Yet, if you ask the coaches and the players, <laughs> right. they said they were. <laughs> so, so I'd, sure I'd listen to them, who Brian. To <laughs> actually, listen to someone else and don't come up with your own thoughts listen, when you don't know. Sucked into all these excuses they offer these days. They've got to play when it's perfect conditions, but nine and really There's sort of no, uh, nice weather. Uh, the Thursday night very slippery conditions. Last night after half time slippery. Oh. You would have carried on like a fool's head. Oh no. Because Collingwood in front for the whole night and then Geelong finally and you were here in a box so you would have carried on like a real knob. Well, I found myself a box with a couple of past <laughs> players. Yeah, <laughs> Barons? Uh, and, and Barons and Narra and uh, <laughs> we had a good, we had a couple of frothies as oh, you do to watch the game it. and pretty quiet for a while there and then oh, did we fly up that last <laughs> quarter. <laughs> <laughs> when Reese Stanley started to get on top, and uh, it was fantastic to see.